Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to Practical Programming Channel. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with Web GPU graphics programming. In the last video, I explained how to create a point and a line primitives. In this video, I will explain how to create triangle primitives in a Web GPU application. Just like the colorful triangle, so in here we will uh, try to create this triangle primitives in this example. Again, we will use the Git tool to clone the source code used in the last video. Here is the download link at the GitHub repository. From this link, you can download all the source code used in the last video. Now, open a command prompt window and run the following command. Git clone and copy this link. Okay, this will generate a web GPU 05 folder on your local machine. This folder contains all the source code used in the last video. Now we want to change this folder name to GPU 006. Rename web to GPU 006 and CD into it. Okay, at this point, we are going to start with Studio Code with the command code period. Okay, this is Visual Studio Code interface. First, we need to close this welcome page. Here, it contains all the source code used in the last video. Today, we are going to create a triangle primitives based on this code. WebGPU has several built-in simple shapes. We call these basic shapes as primitives. Currently, WebGPU consists of five primitives. From this small window, uh, you can see there are five primitives. Uh, they are point list, line list, line strip, triangle list, and a triangle strip. In the last example, we discussed the, the first three primitives. Today, we will discuss the last two primitives, triangle list and the triangle strip. From here, you can see we will use nine vertices to construct these uh, triangle primitives. For triangle list, we create a triangle for every three vertices. You can see here nine vertices, we create three triangles. While for the triangle strip, we first draw a triangle for the first three vertices. For example, here, A, B, C. So we draw a first triangle. After that, we create a triangle for every additional vertex. For example, we have A, B, C, the first, uh, first three vertices. Next, if we add another point D, vertices D, then we draw another triangle B, C, D. Next, if we have another uh, vertex E, then we draw C, D, E. So additional one uh, vertex give a, a additional triangle. So in this case, we have nine vertices. This will create seven triangles. This is the difference between a uh, triangle list and a triangle strip. Now let's back to our Visual Studio Code interface. First, we need to open a terminal window and use the npm install command. And use the npm install the command to restore the npm package. Uh, this installation process may take a while to finish. Uh, please be patient. Okay, finished. Now all the installed packages are stored in 
node modules folder. Now let's make some change to the index.html file from dist folder open index.html file. First, we need to change the file to 6 here because this is 6 video series. Next, we need to change the h1 title here from point or line to triangle. Then we need to make a change to this select element. In our case, we only have two options, the triangle list and the triangle strip. So we need to delete one option from here. Then we need to make a change to triangle here. We also need to change the text field to triangle. Okay, here we have kept the canvas element and with ID equals to canvas web GPU. Here we also fix its size, width and height. Then we can save this file. Now we need to make some modification to our CEDAR code from SRC folder open the seeders.ts file. Now we need to replace the content of this file with this code. Okay, so this is our new content of this file. You can see we first define the nine vertices use the vec tool, the vector. You can see here we have nine component. This uh, contains nine vertices. In order to distinguish our triangle, we also define vertex color. Here is the vertex color. You can see also we use RGB, the color, the triangle uh, vertex. So this color definition is used to distinguish the triangles. Because we here we define the vertex color, here we need to introduce the output color variable. Uh, we define the name is a weight color. In the inside of the main function, we also need to process the color and convert this vector three RGB color into the vector four format. You see here one point zero means transparency. Inside the fragment shaders, we also need to introduce this weight color as an input. Inside this main function, the output color uh, need to be assigned to weight color. Previously, we have used this code, so you should be familiar with this code. Okay, this is the shader we will use we create our triangle primitives. Now we save this file and close it. Next, we need uh, to make some changes to the main.ts file. First, we need to make a change here, default parameter. Point of this need to be changed to triangle list. Here is the index format. For triangle list, this format must be undefined. However, for triangle, here we need to change to triangle strip. For triangle strip, we need to define index format to uint32 type. So this is the requirement for the triangle strip. This index format assigned to strip index format here. So this is our index of, uh, format definition and uh, assigned to this strip index format attribute. Uh, next, we need to make a change to this draw function. In the last example, we use six uh, vertices to create a line and a point and primitives. Right now, we use nine vertices to create a triangle primitive. So we need to change this six to nine. Okay, now we can save this file. 
Uh, before continue here, I want to emphasize the importance of the triangle primitives. You may already know to draw 3D graphics object, almost all 3D graphic engine use triangle primitives, in particular the triangle list primitives. The reason is that the three vertices of a triangle are always in the same plane. Anything more than three vertices can be non-plane and thus unrenderable unless it was converted into triangle. Non-planar mass is degenerate and cannot be solved or rendered correctly in any same manner. Since three points are the minimum necessary to define a planar surface, and any shape can be simulated use many triangles. We have efficient algorithms to rapidly render triangle onto screen. So the triangle list primitive is the most important primitive in any 3D graphics engine. Okay, up to now we have finished all programming for this example. Now we can run the following command on the terminal window to bound our TypeScript code in production mode npi run prod. Okay, the bounder file is created successfully. You can see the main bounder JS file is about 91.5 KIB. This is also very small. Now from this uh, status bar area, you can see go live uh, link. So now we can click this link to open the default Chrome canary to view our primitive. So click this link. Okay, here is our default triangle list of primitives. You can see three colorful triangles, just uh, nine vertices generate three colorful triangle. From this uh, drop-down list, you can also select the triangle strip. Here we have seven triangles connected together. Now we complete our application. I have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video. I will post the link for the source code below this video. You can click the link to download the source code. I will end this video here. In next video, I will discuss the GPU buffer and how to use it to create a colorful square. See you next time. Bye.